Welcome back. I'm Nicole BW, and this is Stone Block 2. And the last time we made a smeltery, which reminds me, I need to go get some of the iron I smelted. So I would like to make or at least start on the mob farm. But one of the issues that I am having is that the, I want to use dark glass. And we need black uh, dye. So I think um, black floral powder would be the best way to go. So I just, uh, our grass patch down there, I just bone mealed it a bunch of times. Uh, we have our stuff there. But I was looking and of course, you know, you could do the one-to-one um, with the flowers and the floral powder is, you know, two yellow, two red makes that. Or you can use floral four floral powders to make uh, one. But if we put it through a squeezer first, so if we, if we put it through a squeezer, we get four out of them. That is a lot. Let's grab, do I have any? No, I don't. Uh, let's grab some wood, some sticks. Uh, I know we need a block of iron for this. Do we not, oh, we don't have four. Oh, and we actually need planks, wood. Okay, so there is our squeezer. Let's grab another stick, cobble, because uh, I believe we have to give it a redstone signal so it'll pop back up. So I'm not sure where to, let's, well, let's just stick it right there. Why not? Okay, so I had to move it out to the middle of the room because it wasn't registering with me too high. I don't know. Maybe I just couldn't get in the right place. I'm not sure. Uh, but now we can make ourselves some floral fertilizer. Let's go get some of these. Oh, by the way. I got my three uh, ender pearls. I'm very excited about. Okay, so let's oh, that block already. Uh, but in order to do the chickens, you can use floral fertilizer as well. So, so I think maybe we got all of them. Um, but if not, I can do that all again. Um, for right now, we kind of need just the black ones, um, like, really need more storage. Let's just grab that. Let's put it right there. That's fine. Uh, let's put them all, like that I'll even put those in there and that in there actually I need that uh and then I'm just gonna take one of those okay so our okay we have bone blocks those away before I hurt myself um we need the bucket at the moment but we do need shears so let's make a pair of shears let's get our petals and then let's go make some of these i'm gonna close that just in case okay so i'm gonna start over here so that way i know where they are it you plant the petals and then bone meal them You'll get the tall versions. Then use the shears to break them. The tall versions will then give you four petals each. 
Okay, then you can go ahead and bone meal those. Be careful you don't bone meal the grass. I've definitely done that before. Uh, ooh, sure, I got all of them. Yep. Uh, so I need 54 black floral petals. So that would be 14 tall flowers. So we do need that. A pestle and mortar. So we need a bowl. Uh, we need a stick. Not making sticks when there's a million sticks just right over there. <laughs> um, and then we can go ahead and do this. And that'll give us all the black floral powder that we need. We'll put that there and we'll put that in there. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of room for anything. Okay, so the, um, oh, okay, I'm gonna have to do this. All right, so that gave us that. Uh, so we have that. Now we need the thickened glass. So we need it. Yes. Uh, yes. I forgot. Okay, so let's grab one of these. We'll need that. I'll put it up here for that one. And 44. I don't know. Seven's good enough. Okay. So those will cook. And then for. Yeah. Then we'll combine them with that. And I smelted up the uranium ingots. Because I don't want. A. Uh, I don't want to use a torch for the lava. For the smeltery. Um. But I don't want to use lava either underneath it. You can use a block of uranium. So if we look up, all oh, those are smelting. Uh, if we look up the uses for the crucible, you can go over to the heat sources and find out um, what you can use. So we did have just happen to have nine uranium so it'll do 20 times what a torch can do obviously awakened draconium is the best but we can't do that uh don't have that option okay so what we're going to need for this mob farm all right let's make our vector plates so we're going to need iron stone and sugar I believe I have just enough sugar. Stone. Let's just grab all this because all of this is for the. I'm going to leave that there uh, for the mob farm. Okay. So we're going to need some iron. We're going to need diamonds. I don't know how many. Don't remember. Okay. There's so much I need to do. It's crazy. Okay. So the vector plates. All right. So we should have 11 sets. Uh, so we'll do 11 of those. Okay. So we're going to need the mob masher, which is very important. I need to go grab some more iron. And I'll throw some more in there to get that smelting. Let's make the anti-barrel first. So there's our anti-barrel. We need to make this, which is a quest, which is nice. Okay. Then our nectar. 
which is good. Our absorption hopper, we're going to need three more. Eye of Ender. We're going to need three more. Obsidian. And that's not quite enough. Make our absorption hopper. Okay. Then we'll have to make a ton of item barrels. And then I'm not sure if we're going to have enough iron. Should have. I don't know if I want to put looting in yet. I'm not really sure. Art of us. Ooh, uh, we also need to make our alloy smelter unless and I do can I make this in the smelter? I think so. Oh, if this doesn't work, I'm going to be so sad. I only have one Ender Pearl. Nice. We got our pulsating iron. We need a redstone block. And there is our mob masher. Yay. So excited about that. That. <clears throat> Makes me feel so much better. Okay, so the conduit binder I completely forgot about. So our dark glass. That should be all for the dark glass. And there. Then this. Only need one, honestly. We only need one. Um. We're just going to stick those in there and these in there. I'm going to hold off on the drop of evil. And then we need to make a bunch of barrels. So we have a ton of um, this wood. And I'm going to grab, I don't know, a few stacks of that. So grab whatever we can. So that makes 16. Um, I also want to make a loot crate storage while we're at it. That and which is the quest book. A chest and some planks. Put the chest away and quest book is right there. Oh, do we not have planks? What the heck? Why do we keep oh because I don't make very many at a time. That's why. Used them all for flaps. Okay, loot crate storage. Okay. It's second to the top. <laughs> I know that. So I built this. It's it's this is the only thing that's going to be in this room is our mob farm. And then I'm going to have the storage here. So it's nine wide. So this one right here is the center. So that means this right here should be replaced with this one. And I'll explain why in a second. Also, it's all mineral wood underneath. It's not empty underneath here. Um, so that is where our mob masher is going to go. 
and this is where the lever is going to go to turn it on and off that way i have access to it it's not underneath i have access i could put it underneath and then take this log away instead but eh, i'd rather not uh okay so we have to decide where we want to put our absorption hopper so I think I think I might want I want to offset let's put our absorption hopper here the show area um we're gonna go up going to go over and we're going to go back so I think that is I should put it over one more like that. Did I bring it forward one? Like that. In case something pops out. But this is the area inside that it will pick up from. I think that's good. I think that's good. Okay. So the south, or I'm sorry, down is going to be items and I think eventually we're gonna have to either north or south it's gonna have to be XP but I don't have a tank or anything to put that put it in so then we're going to have this here and I don't think I can reach. Might have to go underneath. Okay. So one side is going to be this. One side is going to be this. So then there's going to be the loot crate storage here okay let me go down underneath and see if I can't reach okay so that's going to be extract always active this one is going to be insert and it's going to have the highest priority so if it's a loot crate, it's always going to go in here. First thing it's going to check is, is it a loot crate? Then the anti-barrel stacks unstackable items. So I think we can do like a higher priority and then that'll stay on priority zero. Okay. I'll have to get a smooth stone to replace that. I think I put all my stone away. I did. Okay. So from what I've learned about these item barrel connectors is that it will see barrels from a very far distance as long as they're connected to other barrels. So I could essentially just wrap this, all the barrels around the whole thing instead of coming out that would be kind of neat right like if I just did this and just did you know what I mean like just did that and then 
our view of the mob farm would not be obstructed and we could see the mobs and we could get to our items. Yeah, I think that that is going to be the way to go. Uh, let's get our dark glass in here. We need to be careful because I didn't make any extras. And if you mess up and break it, it just breaks. So we need to put our vector plates in. Eventually, I do want to change this over to Cursed Earth. Um, in the long run, I would like to have um, a spot here, like right here, uh, that is like in the middle where my head is. I would like that to be um, witch water. So some of the mobs that are going through it will be turned into wither skeletons and other items. Uh, and you can shift on these. If you don't shift, it's going to push you. And these are the slowest ones. Um, I realized that. I can reach that. I could turn that into first earth. And then if I put a vector plate down, it'll push them that way. But th this next one will immediately push them over. So I don't think that'll be that big of a deal. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those two down. I'm going to leave this one open. I'm going to put cobble there actually I probably didn't leave that one open and then turn that on because yeah and then yeah there's our torches nice that worked uh so it'll only put items in there that aren't stackable so like I can put my pick in there, but I can't put my planks in there. Yeah. Yeah. So I left this dirt and not the dark glass because I want to put the upgrades in there. So I want to have access to it and I don't want to have to break the glass. Um, but let's look at it from a distance. And I don't think there'll be too many mobs that spawn um, without the cursed earth. But it'll go for now and uh, we'll be able to uh, gather some stuff. And I'll bring my mob drops from downstairs up and put them in the barrels. And I'll start getting um, my stuff moved over. It looks like we're getting some mobs. I don't know if you guys can see that or not because of the cobble and the... Uh, it took a while, so we really need... Look at that. Already. Uh, so we really need sharpness. Yeah, we really need sharpness um, to kill them fairly instantly. If we're going to do Cursed Earth, we really need upgrades on those barrels, or at least void upgrades on the barrels, um, if nothing else. So I'm sure there's going to be a few of them that I'm going to want, like infinite, uh, like the ender pearls. I don't think you could have enough ender pearls, personally, but like spider eyes, we could just put a void upgrade on. So, um, yeah, I'll uh, decide that as the, the drops come in. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Let me know what you think down below. <laughs> I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.